Published 2112 EDT, the 2nd of November 2017 updated 2157 EDT, the 2nd of November 2017 when the surprise announcement came through that Gavin Williamson was the new Defense Secretary, one former minister was overheard in the Commons saying H is our next leader. On social media there were similar predictions after Williamson, promoted from Chief Whip at 41, leapfrogged far more experienced colleagues to become the youngest person to take the senior cabinet role since it was created during the Second World War. The suggestion that he could go all the way to the top is the more remarkable because he has never held ministerial office and made a speech from the dispatch box in the Commons. When he has spoken from the back benches, many of his colleagues regarded his offerings as leaden and second-rate. Chief Whit Gavin Williamson pictured arriving at the Ministry of Defense today has replaced Michael Fallon as Defense Secretary yet as the government's chief whip. He was appointed last summer. He flourished in the role, where his responsibility was to keep party discipline and make sure MPs voted along government lines. Chief whips gather information about MPs' indiscretions and misdemeanors, not only to try to preempt potential scandals but also to use it to persuade MPs to fall into line. They need feline cunning and ruthlessness. Williamson demonstrated that he had both in spades last month when he killed Stone Deed a plot against Theresa May after her disastrous party conference speech. Living up to his nickname of the baby-faced assassin, he immediately outed the ringleader, former Tory chairman Grant Shapps, in the press. Tory MPs loyal to May then queued up to denounce Shapps publicly. The attempted coup fizzled out and Shapps was utterly humiliated. It was a brilliant operation which flushed out Shapps and showed he had no one publicly supporting him. One cabinet minister told me, Gavin is developing into our own Francis Urquhart, steeped in the black hearts of political intrigue. Urquhart was the manipulative chief whip played by Ian Richardson in the TV series in the British version of the political thriller House of Cards. Mr. Williamson is known as the baby-faced assassin among colleagues, an image enhanced by his pet tarantula Cronus G. Avon Williamson's steely cunning, as well as his inside knowledge of MPs peccadillos, was on display again this week. It was he who was part of a group of senior advisers who told the Prime Minister that Sir Michael Fallon had to go after learning about the bombshell allegations from Andrea Leadsom. No one, however, foresaw that Williamson would replace Fallon after he resigned on Wednesday evening. His critics are appalled by the appointment, highlighting his inexperience, not least in defense. They say his sudden promotion to a senior cabinet post is a telling reflection of his holdover maid to whom he has long been loyal. Others, however, differ. His easy smile, Yorkshire accent and genial quality don't quite manage to mask a first-class political brain. One minister has said, people might think him a callow youngster from the sticks. That would be a very, very grave mistake. He makes Francis Urquhart look like Ed the Eagle. Williamson's ascent is remarkable. He was brought up in Scarborough by his Labour-supporting parents, Ray, a local government worker, and Beverly, who worked in a job centre. Mr. Williamson shakes hands with the Vice Chief of the Defense Staff, Gordon Messenger, as he arrives at the department today. I went to a local comprehensive then Bradford University, in marked contrast to most on the Oxbridge dominated conservative benches. His wife, Joanne, is a primary school teacher, and the couple have two young daughters. As soon as he left Bradford, where had joined the Tories, he was offered work with the party, but declined. The best piece of advice I received was from my father, who told me to get a real job in the real world, he said later. I had been offered a job by the Conservatives, but I took his advice and got a real job. He chose the pottery industry in Staffordshire, becoming divisional director of Ainsley China before running his own pottery and design practice. After becoming a Tory county councillor, he won the safe seat of South Staffordshire in 2010. For three years he was David Cameron's parliamentary private secretary, although he had little in common with the metropolitan types who surrounded Cameron. After Cameron's resignation, Williamson pledged allegiance to May, rather than Boris Johnson. May rewarded him with a chief whip's job. In this capacity, he was sent to Ulster by May following the botched general election this year to secure a deal with the Democratic Unionist Party, whose support keeps the Tories in power.
Softly spoken Williamson has joked about his role as chief whip and negotiating technique. I don't very much believe in the stick, he says, but it's amazing what can be achieved with a sharpened carrot. Strangely, he keeps a pet Mexican tarantula, Cronus, in a glass box on his desk. Cronus was the Greek god who came to power by castrating his father before eating his own children to ensure they would end oust him. Whether the Cronus story is symbolic of Williamson's ambition is unclear. But as a former whip, he knows where all the boss are buried, and is, I'm sure, ruthless enough to use the information to his advantage.